Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Linux sufferer, Gardner, the Linux gamer. We're gonna talk about video games. It's this thing I never heard of. Uh, I don't know what the heck video games are. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna talk about video games. The, the year in review here. Another year has gone by in a flash and we find ourselves, you know, reflecting on the year writ large, our mistakes, our triumphs. And I just wanted to talk about uh, the outstanding Linux titles of 2018, and there were many. So let's just jump into this. We're gonna talk about uh, my favorite games that I played in 2018 on Linux. All right, first up we have Inner Space. Inner Space is a unique exploration game with six degrees of freedom. Uh, you control a drone around the inverse. It's a gorgeous and sometimes pretty hard to parse world. I, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Inner Space, even when I found some of what it had on offer to be frustratingly obtuse. Then, uh, next up, we have Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Feral yet again delivered an amazing port of a Square Enix game. Despite some of the uh, Square Enix melodrama, the ludonarrative dissonance, and the, the ghoulish celebration of Lara's death uh, that it seemed to be morbidly preoccupied with, um, the gameplay was was standard fare, AAA stuff. And I mean, to be honest, it was good. It, it shows like that there is AAA potential on Linux, and that's awesome. I really, really enjoyed my time with the game. Now, it's best played with a controller, and this is the kind of game that really only appeals to a certain type of gamer, but uh, I had a lot of fun when I was playing it, and uh, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Proton release of Doom. This is the only Proton game on the list. I know some people might be uh, a bit salty that I'm including it because this game was released in 2016, but uh, it really was the harbinger of things to come with Proton. Um, Proton was... Uh, was a massively influential thing that happened this year and it's uh it's incredible to see and i can't wait to see what happens in 2019 with proton um i'm still of the mindset that proton is gonna uh be an industry-wide thing that competing stores are actually going to contribute to 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 help move people over to linux because you know i mean i'm an eternal optimist but uh, let's talk about uh doom because i really enjoyed it um I played it on my PlayStation 4 back in 2016, early 2017, and it was so much fun then. But uh, really, uh, Doom was like one of the first uh, first person shooters I've played in a long time that uh, actually felt better on a mouse and keyboard. And I, I you know, I'm the kind of guy who prefers playing with a with a uh, a controller most of the time. So the fact that uh, Doom really uh, captured uh, the uh, the PC what PC gaming really has to offer I I thought that that was really cool and it's just so much fun I mean it makes no apology for being what it is it's 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 a game and the story is an afterthought it doesn't uh, try to inundate you with a bunch of self serious ludo narrative nonsense uh, it's it's so much fun I love the game but uh, let's move on because that's not native and people are gonna get really salty. <laughs> So N++, which is another game that was uh, released earlier on other platforms but came to Linux this year. Um, there's not much to say about this game except that it's uh, a ton of fun. <laughs> the, uh, the jumps are somewhat floaty and the later levels are incredibly difficult, um, but it's a platformer that deserves a lot of love. Uh, and and it's, it's a game that I hold dear to my heart because I've played it like or or previous iterations of this game for almost as long as I can remember. I mean, I started playing it when it was a uh, a, uh, a a flash game online. I played uh, N plus on my uh, PlayStation Portable, and uh, I just I love this game, this franchise, and I'm glad to see that there's finally a Linux release for this franchise. Dead Cells. Uh, Dead Cells is another tough as nails uh, uh, roguelike for Linux. So uh, a lot of comparisons to uh, 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 what is that? What is that one game everybody talks about? Dark Souls. <laughs> but uh, it's a great game with fluid controls, great visuals, 
Um, and I do have a few nitpicks, but really it's a critique of the genre and not the game itself. Um, it was fun and addictive. I don't really know what else to say about it, though. Um, I enjoyed my time with it, and I, I recommend it for anyone who's into that kind of game. Let's talk about the top three now. Um, Parkitect. Parkitect is a game that I just got into recently. Um, uh, they, there were some visual glitches with my Vega 64 card, and uh, I, I finally got those cleaned up. Um, it's 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 a it's a nice take on the beloved roller coaster tycoon uh, formula, uh, but it augments everything that you love about roller coaster tycoon with a layer of like realism and simulation, and uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, it grants players with an awesome level of control. I and I especially like the fact that there is uh, a consideration of like employee only areas and infrastructure that uh, supports the experience of the park that guests never get to actually touch or, or interact with. I really like that. Um, it was something I didn't know that w I was missing from the, you know, the stock roller coaster tycoon formula. All right, next up, we got Two Point Hospital. Now, if you can't tell, I am very much into strategy and simulation games. Uh, and Two Point Hospital falls squarely in my wheelhouse. Um, it's one of the games that I've put the most time into this year, and it's so much fun. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed every moment I've spent with the game. Uh, I've streamed a bunch of it on Twitch. Uh, I, I love the game's uh, wacky sense of humor, its, its cartoonish visuals, and the progression system that really feels impactful and like it... It feels like it makes a difference uh, in, in, in games and hospitals that you play down the line. I thought that it was really interesting to revisit a genre that really doesn't get much love from any AAA publisher or developer today. Uh, and if it wasn't for the next game on my list, Two Points Hospital would have been my game of the year. Um, but my game of the year, uh, you probably saw this coming, is Celeste. Um, Celeste is a masterpiece from Matt Thorson. Uh, he's the developer of Towerfall Ascension. Uh, so him and a team used the Towerfall engine to craft the sublime and truly impeccable Celeste. Celeste is a Metroidvania type game uh, with like a ton of platforming elements that really demands you explore the world and get to know it but also uh, has a ton of like old school difficulty with like pattern recognition and skillful execution required to overcome the, much of the game's challenge. Um, everything about this game is just truly wonder wonderful and, and I don't have much to criticize here. And the story is also an incredibly moving one. Uh, it really uh, shows how the medium of video games is capable of uniquely conveying a narrative. And uh, it's a shame that more games don't take advantage of video games as a means of storytelling in this way. Um, just everything about this game uh, works together to tell the story that Matt Thorson and his team uh, were trying to tell. And uh, by golly, was it just awesome. Um, Celeste is my game of the year. Um, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Uh, uh, or you can join the, uh, the forum, uh, forum.heavyelement.io, and let me know what you think there. Um, just as a side note, I wanted to congratulate Matt Thorson because... Uh, I saw a tweet where he said that they have sold over 500,000 copies of Celeste, and, and that's just truly incredible. Uh, congratulations, my friend. Uh, good on you for that. Uh, Celeste is worthy of selling a million more copies. It's, it's so good. If you haven't played the game, uh, there's going to be links to all the games down in the description. Um, I, Celeste is my number one pick for this year. Uh, go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today's uh, video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for uh, 
spending another year with me here on the channel. Uh, I am so excited to see where 2019 takes us together and um, what it's going to mean for Linux going forward. Um, if you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt. Uh, we just got this new design. Uh, that's supposed to be me, if you can't tell. It says, like a foss, if you're not capable of reading. I think most of you are, though. Uh, like a foss, I'm really happy with this shirt. I think it's pretty cool. I designed it myself, actually. So if you want to um, support the show and get something tangible from it, go over to Teespring. Uh, there's a link down below, and uh, this shirt is available there for purchase. Um, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.